And could you tell me, can you tell me about maybe a, a specific patient or two that, uh, that has really uh, seen tremendous positive outcomes from some, from some of your research? Sure, sure, absolutely. Obviously, I can't mention names, sure. but one of, one of the work uh, of, of the projects that we've done, and this is a project that we've worked on for a while, and by necessity, because you're using it, in, you know, you're going through FDA, you're getting clearance mm -hmm. to use it clinically, it takes a, a longer uh, period of time, but it's a technology that's used to detect internal bleeding in the course of doing medical procedures, often internal bleeding can be complicated, sure. uh, complication of mm -hmm. these procedures. And normally, uh, we don't figure out that there's, you can't figure out that there's a bleed until and unless the, there's a significant amount of blood. Uh, because the patient's lying on their back, they're sedated, the bleeding is internal, so there's no outward sign. And unfortunately, by the time most of us find out, the blood pressure's dropped or the patient suddenly goes into excruciating pain, then it becomes a medical emergency. Often surgery is required. But with this technology, as soon as even the beginnings of a bleed occur, uh, we are notified. And this is, technology has been now used in, not only in our hospital, but in uh, seven, eight, I think actually now we're up to 10 hospitals across the country. Um, and so that is, and that was the first one. So that's, um, that's something that's made us very yeah. proud. Absolutely. Well, I mean, changing, changing the world, changing the quality that's of right. life one patient at a time that's here right. at the Texas Heart Institute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much, much for being here today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.